Hello viewers, welcome to engineering study materials. Today we are going to discuss about the rolling process. So generally rolling is a process that turns the cast ingot into a fine sheets. Generally there are two types of rolling such as hot rolling and cold rolling. During the rolling process the grain size changes from the large size grains into fine grains. So let's get into this video. So definition of rolling is that it is a process of plastically deforming the metal by passing it between the rolls. The rolls are rotating continuously in a direction by applying the compressive force on the cast metal. So while a block of metal is applied before the uh, play appearing into the roll after that it turns into a fine sheet. Different rollers are used. Let's see uh, what are the rollers are used in this process. So rolling is the most widely used farming process which provides high production and close control of the final product. So uh, the sheets are formed uh, using the materials that is the raw material such as bloom, billet, slab etc. So what is a bloom means is a product of the first breakdown of the ingot. The cast metal is turned into an ingot. The ingot is broken down and that this is the bloom. It is of 230 cm square and billet. It is a subsystem of bloom and slab. It is a hot rolled ingot. And then it is uh, the products appeared are plate, sheet and strip of various thickness. So generally two types of rolling. So hot rolling is the initial breakdown of ingots into blooms and billets. During this process hot rolling is used that is heat applied and uh, ingots are taken out. While cold rolling the sheets uh, plates are f uh, produced uh, with good surface finish that is called cold rolling. So generally different uh, wheels and directions are applied in the rolling mills so there are different types such as two high mill and pull over two high mill reversing three high mill used and four high mill and cluster mill or send miser mill different mills are used for the different purposes such as fine thickness uh, even grain size etc then continuous rolling in this continuous rolling different wheels of various sizes and of different compressive stresses applied to make a fine sheet in a continuous process. It uses a series of rolling mill and each set is called a stand. It is called as a stand. Then the strip will be moving at different velocities at each stages in a mill to get different uh, sized plates. So there is also a planetary mill. This is the uh, planetary mill arrangement it consists of a pair of heavy backing rolls surrounded by a large number of a planetary rolls a small small rollers are placed on the center uh, roll each planetary roll gives an almost constant reduction to the slab uh, as it sweeps out a circular path between the backing rolls and the slab and each planetary pair of uh, pa planetary rolls ceases to have contact with the workpiece and another pair of roll makes contact with the and repeat that reduction. So this type of is used. So this is the planetary mill that's, that we, that's we have uh, seen in this slide. So this is the planetary mill. It is a machine or a factory for shaping the metal by passing it through the rollers. The continuous uh, small size rollers are present in this. So a rolling mill consists of a rolls, bearings, housings, a motor for actuation. Then modern milling rolling mills have um, um, required a very rigid construction, large motors to supply enough power because when we apply large compressive forces, we get, uh, we get the sheets with uh, fine grains and with good quality. And the main disadvantages of this rolling process is the huge capital investments is needed and then it is a continuous casting and not rolling. This is the picture that shows the complete process of the hot rolling. First of all continuous casting the metal is molten and take it out in a ladle and um, placed in the mold and it's cooled over and then it uh, converted into an ingot and uh, it goes out 
and cut her into uh, blooms the blooms are passed into the uh, play blooms are uh, plates are passed into the uh, blooming mill and then it comes out in the finishing mill and then comes out as a coils of hot rolled sheet this is what how the metal molten metal is turned into a sheets blooms slabs etc so during this process water cooling is applied then hot rolling the first hot rolling operation uh, for most sealed products is done on the rough uh, roughing mill so while hot rolling the um, a metal uh, that is a cast ingot is uh, placed inside the two rollers at that time water cooling is applied to make a, a harden of the outer surface and these mills are normally two high reversing mills with 0.6 to 1.4 meter diameter rolls so the main ad, uh, main objective is to um, the, make the cast ingot into blooms or slabs making for that purpose hot rolling is the process used then cold rolling it is a process it's carried out under the recrystallization under recrystallization temperature and introduces work hardening the starting material uh, is the uh, bloom or slab and final product is the sheet so the total reduction achieved by the cold rolling generally with vary about 15 to 90 percentage and the reduction in each strand uh, should be distributed uniformly without fa fail falling much below the maximum reduction for each pass so the cold rolling uh, provides a superior surface finish and better dimensional tolerances are achieved and uh, it may be a good surface finish products can be obtained and cold rolled metals can be categorized into three that is the quarter hard that is higher amount of deformation and can be bent normal to rolling direction without fracturing and half hard can be bent up to 90 degree and full hard metal is compressed by 50 percentage with no cracking and can be bent up to 45 degree these are the products these are the uh, varieties of the cold roll metals so these are the short video about the hot rolling cold rolling and the rolling process so this is short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching